quiet. What's up YouTube? If you're new here, my name is Danny James and in today's tutorial I'm going to be showing you how to add realistic gunshots to rap music videos inside of Adobe Premiere. I have my timeline set up already so that you can do this in the most effective manner possible and I also have a bin which is named gunshot assets. This will comprise of everything that you need to pull off this look. You don't need everything that is within this bin but I will link down everything that I will use on this tutorial so that you can also use it. Before you begin this tutorial, kindly feel free to check out my website at dannyjames.co. I have preset packs, transitions, and lots that you might find useful. As of right now, I would recommend checking out the Danny James Energy Transitions Pack. It's very useful and valuable if you want to try it. Back to this again, the clip in green, this is where we're going to be adding the gunshots because that's where the artist is drawing their hands. I'll play this from the top so that you can get a slight context of this. Okay, so first thing you want to identify the area where you want to add these gunshots, whether it's somewhere like here, and then get your gunshots. I'll drag this muzzle flash right here. And then on the first frame of this muzzle flash, just click on that clip and add a frame hold so that the flash stays there for the longest time. I will change the label color for this. Okay, now that we've added the frame hold on this clip, now we just need to add keyframes for position. You can also add a keyframe for scale if you need to. And then we're just going to move this muzzle flash. So we'll go one frame and then I'll try to just make it move around so that it can be sometimes high, sometimes low. And I'm also trying to be conscious of the hands, of the hands movements. So I'll go another keyframe, one to my right, and then I'll keep moving it around. And then one frame, put it down, maybe to this side. Then one frame, I'll take it up. One frame, just move it a bit uh, within the screen so that it's, it's not always constant in one place. And then at the end of these keyframes, you want to cut it so that the frame hold doesn't keep playing. And then we can just duplicate by holding Alt and then move it to our right. Just give it a little breather, don't put it immediately right after that one. And then it can start with this other one here. If you want, you can adjust these keyframes again manually if you want. So I'll disable, I'll cancel all the keyframes and then follow them just to follow the hand. One frame, just going around the screen. One frame. One frame. One frame. Just trying to move them around. One frame. And that's it. So once we have that established, we can put this right on top here so that you can have some space right below. Go to your assets. You want to create a new adjustment layer. Add that adjustment layer right there. Cut it so that it doesn't persist for long. And then go to Lumetri. You can hit on window and then hit Lumetri color. You just want to increase the exposure of the clips whenever the gunshots are right there. So you can increase the exposure whites and everything. And then you can close that up. And then on the adjustment layer, you can cut it after every frame. Like that. And then I'll cut these other excess. And then delete whatever is alternating. Like that. And then you can duplicate that onto this other side. And then the last step, we're going to add some sound effects for this. I linked down the one that is right here. I also got it on YouTube. It shows the different guns. You can find the pistol sounds. The suppressed one, uh, you also have an MG, SMG, I think, because I play Fortnite. We have the shotgun, and then we're going to use this one right here. It's like a continuous machine gun. So I'll put it right here, enlarge this area, cut it so that it begins right there, and then cut it somewhere here. I will lower the audio gain, and then we can play this from the top and see what it looks like. Okay, I've rendered this in to out. Now we can play it back and see what it looks like. Now, 
yeah i really love how they turned out it's almost realistic and then they are also moving around and you also have some arbitrary changes in brightness occurring during the same time i hope you liked that one moving on to this other area i've already done the same thing that we've applied on the first clip i just wanted to save some time i've added the muzzle flash put a frame hold on it added some position keyframes you can see right here here's the gun itself and then i replicated that again duplicated that clip and then i added the adjustment layers i just copied them from the previous one and we added the gunshot sound effects right here and if you play this back you can actually get the same sense of what we are creating yeah yeah so i think it looks really cool if you can pull it off in this exact fashion that i showed you uh, i'd love to show you the last uh, demonstration of these gunshots we're going to try out something a bit different from this one we're going to be adding single flashes for the clips go to your gunshots and import your muzzle flash now you want to identify the point where the hands somewhere like right there so we'll put a muzzle flash there and then we'll add the frame hold and this time we're not going to be adding any keyframes for this unfortunately so we can have it scaled up as it is we can go to our scaling and alter that if we need to and you can also rotate these if you need to so we'll just let it bang once so right where his hands are at the max that's where you want this flash to come in right there okay so that looks good and then you're going to cut it so it should appear like like that and then the second gun flash should come okay so the first one should end right there it's it's very brief and then the second one right here so i'll drag that on and then i'll cut it so it's five frames long these two flashes as for this one i know i said we were going to switch things a little bit so since we have these two single flashes that come in like that what you're going to do next is bring our gunshots and this time we're going to look for a pump shotgun instead something like that i'll drag the audio right here enlarge my screen and then make sure it starts right on there we'll cut this and then we will duplicate it and make sure that it also appears for the second time and then you can adjust your volume levels if you need to again we'll copy our adjustment layers that we just placed on the first one so this is the adjustment layer that has the lumetri colors paste them and then i'll drag them right below these flashes okay so i'm going to duplicate and duplicate so they appear like that and then they're going to appear once again on this other side okay so far everything looks good we can just play it back yeah something like that and just go to your assets again and you're going to add some green screen from a breaking glass also got this on youtube i will also link down below drag it right here and then i will put these layers right above so that you can bring this glass screen maybe at the second shot then i'll go to my effects and look for an ultra key just to drop it on that clip that you brought make sure you're on your program then go to the effect controls key out the green and you should see where this glass appears so we could maybe push it even right here at the beginning so we can see what it looks like with this glass green screen ending right there you want to go at the last frame which you've had these flashes right on this last frame you want to pick a screenshot from your main clip which is right below so i'll hold alt duplicate going up and then right on this frame i will hold it delete whatever is on my right and then i want to put this layer below the glass screen so i will put these other layers right above and then put the frame hold right there so you want this frame to stay there for just a few frames as this glass shutters out like that and then you can cut this glass also 
and end it right there so our timeline should look like this i will change the label color for this so we have our flashes adjustment layers glass breaking green screen and then our frame hold right here so if we play this from the top you can see what it looks like yeah you can see that small frame hold adds a bit of sauce into this yeah so that's the little trick that i thought we'd include into this tutorial just to give you a variety and again feel free to check out my website at dannyjames.co i highly recommend checking out the danny james high energy transition presets kindly give the video a like if you genuinely enjoyed it and subscribe if you're watching me for the first time so that you never miss out on my tutorials my name is danny james see you in the next tutorial peace okay that's how you add a gunshot